Forget history from a textbook. George Chambers, Senior Chief Petty Officer in the U.S. Navy, Korean War, and Vietnam. For the 20th straight year, Corona Del Mar High School students are getting their lessons on war directly from our veterans. Danny Byrne, Specialist War, Vietnam, and the Army. It's called the Living History Project. And it just showed that, like, the impact like was like lifelong and it was always going to affect him and it showed me that like I shouldn't I shouldn't like take anything for granted I should I should be like thankful for those who have like like provided for us sophomores have spent the last month getting to know veterans from all branches of the military Today, 80 of them were invited to a luncheon in the gym, along with more than 400 teenagers who are celebrating their stories of service. I enjoy being recharged by the young people, and uh, you know, we have a living history program. We go in and tell them our stories, and I'll give you a little secret. I think we get more out of it than they do. Denise Weiland was inspired to start the program because of her father's time in World War II. It began on campus with the help of five veterans and Jack Hammett, the founder of the Freedom Committee of Orange County. So here we have 10th graders and we have up to like 90 plus year olds and it's really beautiful actually. Vietnam veteran Ronnie Geyer was a soldier with the U.S. Army. The 15 years he shared his past with the kids is a form of therapy. Because they're really interested in hearing our hearing about our experiences and life lessons, we share our life lessons. Well, we are in the process of healing our PTSD because we're getting our feelings out, and everything that we need to share with people is now being heard. A meaningful lesson for students to learn from the living while they still can. In Corona Del Mar, Michelle Geely, CBS Two News.